It's quite the find. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for this week's video, we are going to talk Y2K. And by the way, I'm coming to you from my car because my ring light broke. <laughs> so the lighting isn't great to do it downstairs. So I figured it might be better uh, with natural light outside. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, this week is about Y2K. I've done some decades videos in the past where I discuss bolos. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about here for uh, the Y2K era. Now, here's the thing. Y2K is becoming popular again. So those early 2000s are back in and they're a thing. So we're gonna talk about um, different types of items. There's gonna be some clothes, there's gonna be some toys, um, some accessories, just all kinds of different uh, things that came from the Y2K era. So let's get started. Uh, one thing that was popular uh, in the Y2K era, especially earlier on, is uh, Neopets. Neopets, they're these virtual pets and they created a whole bunch of different toys and, and, and accessories around Neopets. So there's plush that's very valuable. This plush here is an example. Uh, it sold for $200 on eBay. So that is great. Um, then there's also, um, you know, messenger bags, as you can see, sold for 150 there's pocket games. Um, that one sold for 150. I actually sold one of these a while back. I think I made around 100 for it. So it may just depend on which one you have. And then there's even uh, these little mini figures that you can see that sold for $140 on eBay. So it's not just one Neopets thing. It's many Neopets uh, things are worth money. So if you find a Neopet item of any kind it is definitely worth a google lens search and and you know a comp search on ebay to see what they're selling for item number two who remembers the t-mobile sidekick phone now i did not have a t-mobile sidekick um but i totally wanted one because i thought they were such cool phones um, so the earlier models of this phone are what seems to sell the best and they sell for pretty good money. You can see this version one uh, sold for $220, version two, 310. So these old cell phones, if you can find them, if they work, uh, they're worth really good money. I would imagine even if these didn't work, they'd still have gotten some good money uh, for them. So Definitely a bolo to look out for these old uh, sidekick phones. Item number three. Well, items. Um, so I have mentioned in the past, Bear in the Big Blue House, I had mentioned the plush. Um, but it's not just the plush. Um, there are also many other random Bear in the Big Blue House items that sell for good money. So... Uh, pleasant surprise there. Look at this cookie jar. Uh, this sells for $150. That's what it sold for on eBay. There's also um, a play set. Be on the lookout just for play sets in general um, that are vintage because a, a lot of the times there were some pretty good money. There's many different, you know, themes uh, that play sets like this are that are worth good money. So uh, this play set sold for $80, as you can see. So if you see a bear in the big blue house place that you want to look it up, but really if you see bear in the big blue house, anything you want to look it up. Next, we have Tamagotchis. Who had a Tamagotchi? I had a Tamagotchi. Now, Tamagotchis came out in the 90s, granted. So by the Y2K time period, uh, less people had Tamagotchis. And I have a feeling that is why the value is higher on these later models. Now, there is a model called the Connection Model Tamagotchi, and that's where your money is. These sell consistently in the high 200, seems to be the 270 range is, is what these are going for. So these are very Y2K. 
Um, and yeah, these are the Tamagotchis that you want to find the most. There are different variations of Tamagotchis, uh, and they do have different price points, but these seem to be the creme de la creme. So be on the lookout for these Y2K Tamagotchis that are the connection model. Next, another item I have mentioned before, but not these specifically, uh, Juicy Couture. So I've mentioned their purses are really big right now, and they are, but lately it's not just the purses, it is also the vintage tracksuits. People are wearing these again. Y2K is back. I did that whole video on, on you know, chunky shoes that, that people are wearing now, that they were wearing in the early 2000s, and guess what? These Juicy Couture tracksuits, these are back too. So um, there are certain variations of them that carry more value. But just for an example, this set sold for $160. So if you can get your hands on these vintage Juicy Couture track suits, you're going to be in some good money. So just be on the lookout. Um, now, just keep in mind, Kohl's um, started selling Juicy Couture and, and that newer Juicy Couture stuff is lower in value. So you want to look for vintage style tags. There are differences. So once you, you know, you learn what the older tags look like, you'll be able to differentiate. Um, but yeah, you want to find the vintage track suits. Next. So in the early 2000s and the late 90s, um, skating and surf stuff was super in and it's still desirable uh to this day a lot of these brands are still popular what i'm noticing is uh the brand independent it is a skate brand i used to work at pacific sunwear and it was always important to know which brands were skate brands and which brands which brands were surf brands and um independent is a skate company uh so these sweatshirts i had one very similar uh to these myself it's probably at my parents house somewhere I should probably dig that out but these sell in the low 80s and uh, they're definitely worth picking up if you can find them you know at a garage sale or a thrift store it's not this super obvious brand so it would be you know something to scoop up that maybe not everybody necessarily knows about next we have austin powers now, Austin Powers came out in the 90s. Austin Powers has been around for quite some time. The movie A Gold Member came out in the early 2000s, early Y2K. I want to say 2002 or 3. Um, but one thing from that time period that sold very well, um, you can see there is this promo shirt uh, that's got Beyonce on it. Uh, so that sold for $125. So that was a promo shirt from the movie. So, you know, your regular movie shirt may not go for quite as much, but that's definitely a good sale on eBay. Um, and then you can see this, this mini me doll. Look at that. $114. I actually, um, when we, I went to see gold member, uh, core memory here with some of my, <laughs> some of my friends from high school and my friend Thalia actually has this doll, probably still does. At least she, you know, she had it at the time. Pro I would imagine she still does. But yeah, she had this doll. And when we went to the theater, she actually brought it with her. And I still have a picture of that to remember <laughs> to this day. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, but yeah, it takes me back. But yeah, um, Mini Me sells great, $114. Next, we have... A Hot Topic item. Hot Topic is still a cool store for kids these days. It's a little different than it used to be in early Y2K, but there is a um, type of brand, uh, well, character, I would say more so than a brand, um, that came from Hot Topic, and that was called Ruby Gloom. It's kind of, you know, was to appeal to sort of the emo goth folks. Uh, but the, this Ruby Gloom stuff still, still sells for really good money. So this shirt you can see sold for $75. And you get this bag here that sells for $65. So a lot of these messenger style bags from, from Y2K, you know, a lot of them can be desirable. So keep your eyes open for themed messenger bags and worth looking them up if you find any. Next, we're going to talk a Y2K band that has merch that's definitely worth picking up because a lot of it from the Y2K period is very valuable. And that band is My Chemical Romance. I love My Chemical Romance. Great band. I've got a little bit of emo girl inside of me. <laughs> but yeah, 
Early Y2K, My Chemical Romance stuff sells for really good money. You can see uh, this hoodie sold for $120. There's other types of merch that they sell as well that sells for big money, you know, $100 range on eBay. So if you see My Chemical Romance stuff in general, look it up. It may not be super obvious right away if it's if it's Y2K or not, but definitely worth a Google Lens search if you find My Chemical Romance anything. So great band, loyal fan base, people still want it to this day. Pick it up. Next, we have Von Dutch. I don't know who remembers Von Dutch. I remember Von Dutch. I was not a Von Dutch wearer, but I definitely remember it from the Y2K era. And it's still holding value to this day, especially these bowler bags from Von Dutch. So many different variations. Most of them are selling between $125 and $130. So these are are great pickups as well. So if you happen to see one of those, it, you know, may not be priced very high at all. And, you know, you want to scoop up that bolo because it is worth being on the lookout for. Have you liked this video yet? Definitely a good idea to do so if you have not, because we have reached the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. If you haven't yet, I make content weekly, although I will not be making a video next week due to the 4th of July. But normally I do weekly content, just not next week. So, But yes, this is Melanie, and my channel's name is Crow's Thrifty Finds, and I will see you all in two weeks. Have a good one.